I know you're here for the tutorial, so I'll keep this short. Right now, I'm working on a game that revolves around different spheres and globes, and I wanted to make a grassy sphere. So I purchased the ultra stylized grass from the marketplace, thinking I would just slap it onto the sphere. Turns out, it only works for flat terrains, it's not made to work for a globe. So I figured I would just fall in the grass meshes around my sphere. Boy was I in for a ride. So now that we understand the problem, we have to find the solution. How could we uniformly disperse points around a sphere? Well, in my research, I came across an algorithm known as the Fibonacci sphere. While there are other ways to distribute points, this is arguably the easiest. So let's get to work on implementing it. For this, I will be using UE5, but this will work in other versions of the engine. So first, let's get our sphere, and let's get the grass mesh we want to spawn on it. Now, let's open the blueprint for our sphere. If you don't have a blueprint, you can easily make one. So first, we're going to be making our variables. First, an integer called density which will be how many points we want to make. Second, a float called radius, which will be the radius of our sphere. For now, I'll set the density to 250 and radius to 500. Now, let's make an event called distribute points, and we'll call it on begin play. This is where we're going to make the Fibonacci spiral. So first, we're going to use a for loop from zero to density. So it will loop for how many points we want to make. The index will tell us the current index it's looping through, so first we will find y. So let's use density again, density minus 1. We'll convert this to a float so we're doing float math from here on out. Then we'll divide the index by this and multiply it by 2, and then we'll subtract this by 1. This will give us y, but we need a full vector, so let's find x and z. For x and z, we'll need to use something called the golden angle, which is pi times 3 minus the square root of 5. This will give us the golden angle in radians. We'll then increment this by our index. For x, we need to do cosine times theta, and z needs to be z times theta. Theta will be the square root of 1 minus y squared. So now we have x, y, and z, so let's build a vector. We will visualize this using the draw debug point node. Let's test it. So you'll see nothing. This is because it's drawing a very small sphere, only the size of 1. So this is where radius comes in. We will multiply radius by x, y, and z. We will also add the actor location to this vector to make sure the points follow or acting. At this point, we're done with the points, and if that's all you needed, you're done with the tutorial. However, I want to spawn some grass and make sure it faces the right direction. For this, we will use a hierarchical instance static mesh, more efficient than a lot of static meshes, and set it to be our grass mesh. Let's replace the draw debug point with an add instance node so we can add our grass. We will plug our vector into location and tick world space. Now we want to rotate it away from the sphere. For this, we will use find to look at rotation. We're going to use this to find the rotation from the center of our actor to the point. So basically, away from the center. Let's plug this into the rotation and see what we've got. Okay, so our grass looks a little off. That's okay. It just means that we need to offset the rotation because of the mesh. Let's add negative 90 to the pitch. Now you'll see everything looks perfect. And if we move it around, it stays the same. So this wraps up the tutorial. I hope somebody found this useful. If you're interested in the game I have here, it's a mobile game I'm developing called Globetrotter. It's a spherical infinite runner, though it's not really infinite. You just survive as long as possible. I might make a devlog on it soon if anyone's interested. Also, I'd like to shout out the Stack Overflow post, which I used to make the blueprints. Anyways, have a great day, and I hope to see you all again soon.